is a Boucher Studio Goose. This is an SG51MV. This has both the Masters Pack and the Vintage Pack. So this is an absolute monster. This is, I don't know if this is a flagship, but this is the best possible recipe. If you want to get the most guitar from Boucher, this is it. So the Masters Grade means that this is a 5A Adirondack Torrified Top. So this is Adirondack Spruce, this is Torrified. Now, if you don't know what Torrefaction is, I have a video up here, I'll put a card for what Torrefaction is, but Torrefaction is the artificial process of aging wood. So what you do is you take uh, red spruce or Adirondack Spruce, you put it into a kiln that is a vacuum, it's an oven, that basically takes it up to eight, 900 degrees. I don't know the, the techie details and they're a little hidden and secret and people don't want you to know. But without oxygen in the environment, you're able to um, cause some synthetic aging to the wood. What happens in the wood is that the cell structure ruptures and it makes it so that this guitar is incapable of taking on humidity, which stabilizes it, but it also makes it lighter, makes it a little more airy, makes it a little more crispy. So that by the time you get to this whole guitar, it is just a wonderful sound wonderful playing, really important guitar. Now this guitar also has some amazing things about it. This is a hybrid OM. And so what the hybrid means is that this guitar is thicker back here than it is up front. So on the back, it is an OM depth and on the front is a triple O depth. And so what that means is by the time you're playing it, this guitar is very close to you up front. It feels very warm. It feels very dear. It feels very close to you up top. It's a very interesting detail, and as we're setting up, both me and Dylan, who is uh, the infamous Dylan that lives off of the camera, but um, we both noticed it's very thin up here. Now, this guitar has other really cool features. It's an inch and three quarter nut. It's ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. Um, it's really, really comfortable to play. It has a really great volute on the back, kind of this smiley face shape volute. Uh, bone nut, bone saddle, and then greeting you around the edge of the guitar is koa binding, which koa is awesome. If you don't know, koa is a Hawaiian wood typically, um, but it's really beautiful and really subtle, and I like it. It doesn't have like, doesn't have strong contrast against the rosewood, but it just has a very subtle, really good looking amount of difference. And um, what's cool about this guitar is that it feels pretty understated. The only place that is pretty glitzy or glamoury is the abalone sound hole, but even then, this is not a boisterous thing. Boucher has a really specific um, beauty in their subtlety, which is one thing that I really like about them. Now, this guitar is really comfortable to play. So what is my reaction? What are my thoughts about this guitar? I think this guitar is incredibly comfortable to play. It doesn't sound like a small guitar, but it feels like a really comfortable and inviting guitar. Now, um, it has a big boomy sound, and I think when you look at this duo, when you look at like a spruce top, particularly a red or an Adirondack spruce top, and then you look at Indian Rosewood back and sides, there's a reason that this combo and this scale length, it's a 25 and one half inch scale length, 25.5 inch scale length, um, when you get this duo, it's an OM scale length, it's East Indian Rosewood back and sides, it's a spruce top, there's a reason that this is Eric Clapton, this is John Mayer, this is um, Norman Blake. Nope, Norman Blake was a dreadnought man, um, is. But there's a reason that this is such a powerful combo. It sounds like a really big guitar. It sounds really warm. What I love and a thing that I have found over and over as so this is now the third Boucher that I've played and reviewed. Um, I haven't gotten to own one yet. That's I'm working on that. I would love to own a Boucher. Um, there's a thing that happens when I play this guitar with my right hand. There's something about the way that they brace these guitars and build these guitars and that they just sound really out of the box. My right hand wants to do this fast arpeggiated picking. <laughs>
there are certain guitars that make you play songs you remember, and there are other guitars that make you play new things you don't know about yet. All three of the Boucher's I've played so far have just inspired me and made me want to play new stuff and, and cool stuff. So when I look at this guitar, is there anything that I'm not excited about or I don't like or I wouldn't prefer? No, I didn't spec out this guitar. This guitar um, just came to me. This is headed to Rick Tallman, who is a wonderful friend. There will be a coupon code. If you're looking for a Boucher and you live in the US, he is the short list of who you should call. Um, so Tallman Instruments, thank you to them for letting me intercept this guitar on the way um, to them. But uh, this guitar is headed to Rick. The only only thing that I wish this guitar has that it doesn't is a pickup, but I totally get why. So this guitar, if it had a pickup, you would play it out more, but this this tier of guitar, unless you are a professional, that this guitar, you know, um, to play a guitar of this price point, you know, $6,000 or so, I'll put the exact price up here. Um, this is a guitar you probably wouldn't want to just like take to a jam or play at church or, you know, play out at a bar. Um, it's so I get that. Um, but for me, I prefer that my guitars would be playable and prepared to play wherever I'm going. Um, but I totally get that. Um, the Koa binding, like, again, this is just preferential for me. I like more contrast. So I would go with like a maple binding or an Ivoroid. But if th those are my things, like they're tiny little things. And I know that's one of the places that, um, people always want me to be more opinionated and to have more negative things to say. And um, with this, this is a dearly likable guitar. Just, I mean, shockingly, jarringly good. And um, yeah, these guitars, time and time again, um, they have proven to me to just be world-class. Maybe a tweak I would do. I prefer gloss necks, that's just me. Um, I really love the feel of this neck, but I, you know, knowing that satin finishes, if you play enough, they eventually turn into gloss finishes. And so it would just be gloss, you know, where you play them. But that's just me. Uh, I know for playability, it's a lot smoother to have a satin finish. But anyway, if I'm forced to have an opinion, that's my opinion. Boucher, like many builders, is building guitars as fast as they can, and they are amazing and wonderful. But they are hard to find because so many people have rediscovered a joy of music and playing guitar, or uh, they're picking it up for the first time, which if you're new to this world, I'm so excited that you're here. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I try to help you find the right guitars. And if you're trying to figure out which one is, is right for you, I think we will be good friends will get along really well. It does not get much better than this. The only real upgrade to this would be Brazilian Rosewood, but Brazilian Rosewood, in my opinion, and this is going to ruffle feathers, is not worth the thousands of dollars more and just the complications, particularly with a company in Canada and you're getting a guitar in the US and um, Brazilian Rosewood is, is tricky and in my opinion, not usually worth it. But this guitar is absolutely a monster and I am so thankful to Boucher for letting me borrow this. I'm incredibly thankful to Rick and Tallman Instruments for letting me intercept this guitar for just a few days. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Jerry, I'm the Guitar Hunter. This is a monster, monster of a guitar. See ya.